I remember one seminarian, he was about to graduate, and he and his wife came in for counseling, and she was in tears. So I just get no time at all uh, with him. He's always studying, always reading his Greek New Testament. And I looked over at him, and I said, is that true? And he said, yeah. He said, uh, me and the Lord, are, are, we're just really tight. And he just clenched his fingers like that. And I tried not to, to chuckle at that. But here's his wife in tears saying she gets no time with him. And then he's telling me he is just really close and tight with Jesus. I asked him if he would turn to 1 Peter 3, 7 uh, in his Greek New Testament, which he brought, because I didn't want him to miss one nuance of the language. And I just had him read it. And he, he read it out loud. And at the end of that verse, if you don't live with your wife in an understanding way, it says your prayers will be hindered. There was just a, a pause. It was just the Spirit of God using his word to convict him of sin in his life, of neglect of his wife. He didn't argue, he, he wasn't resistant, he just didn't put it together that he had some Jesus in his mind, but it wasn't the Jesus of scripture that he was loving and obeying. And he just repented and, and from there just to, to see him making major strides and loving his wife and caring for her. I think that's the impactful nature of counseling. And we're just passing on to others what's been passed on to us. As others have discipled us, we're in turn discipling others. This is a great organization to belong to because you can only do so much from the pulpit. But this is life on life. This is counseling one another, discipling one another to obey what Christ has taught us. I've seen the Spirit of God using his word in the context of the, the local church to impact the lives of counselees.